Are speaker dust caps necessary? This question comes from Laszlo in Hungary. Is it fine to run a woofer without a dust cap? And does it change the sound in any way? Well, here's a dust cap. And you can see on this big woofer, this is one of the woofers that we'll be using in our new upcoming speaker line that PS Audio is launching. This is a real cool beast. I mean, look at the surround on that sucker. But here's the dust cap. Now, this particular speaker has an accelerometer built into it, so we probably want this dust cap for protection. You don't ever want to touch a servo. It, an accelerometer, you know, which is this, this piezo disc, the kind that we use, um, if you were to touch it, that speaker will just, bah, you know, it really gets pissed because it, 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 it is measuring the movement of this woofer and, and hooked up to the amplifier. It will do, you know, if, 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 if it sees motion that isn't related to the input signal, it's going to use the entire power of the amplifier to make up for that. And, oh, boy, you just tap it and it's, it'll, it'll just go crazy because, obviously, the... the this isn't supposed to be doing that. It doesn't know that you're touching it. But anyway, um, so I run the IRS upstairs for uh, without a dust cap because the accelerometer in it is cranky and old, and I have to occasionally uh, clean it and, and, and get it. I mean, the thing's 35, almost 40 years old, so eh, 35 years old. So... It's not the best thing to do. I don't like running it without a dust cap because um, you can see if you can if you can see close. If you hold it up here. This yellow. Can you see that that yellow that yellow bit there? That's called a spider, and that spider is is the is how the cone is attached at the bottom. So. If, if, and I, my apologies to Ohm's Law listeners because we're showing something that you can't see, so I'll try and describe it. Think of a cone, looks like a funnel. On the wide rim, the outer perimeter is held in place by what's called the surround, and that's usually a, a, a large rubber or some kind of very flexible material that centers that funnel shaped cone on the outside, but then where it funnels down and where the voice coil, which is just a coil of wire that is moving within this large magnet down here, goes up and down, you don't want that wobbling. So we have another flexible membrane here called a spider, and that spider holds onto it. Now, usually um, the spider, it goes above the pole piece, which is this hole in the big magnet, and you can have, as you move in and out, you can have a slight amount of air from inside the cabinet going through the spider, through the pole piece, or because these spiders are typically made of a, a fine mesh that isn't necessarily airtight like this, this rubber surround is, you can have air coming through that. It's not a big deal. It's not so big a deal that you are really going to hear a big difference. I mean, I, if I put my ear up to the IRS with no dust cap on there, I can hear a little huffing and chuffing through the open dust cap, which isn't great. But in the, in the big scheme of things, not too big. I always recommend, in, especially in people's homes, keeping that dust cap on there for its namesake. The original intent of that is to keep dust out of the voice coil gap. So typically the voice coil, uh, w which is over this, this, this round uh, piece of magnet called a pole piece, and then the outer uh, magnet outside of it, this gap is usually very small. And, and the smaller it is, the, the, the more uh, motive force we can extract out of the magnetic field. Um, if you start getting stuff in there, schmutz, dust, things, you can, you can cause problems with your, your loudspeaker. I mean, even damage, and especially if you've got a kid hanging around, poking around or something, not a great idea. There's no electrical shock, but eh, 
kids and speakers. I've seen more tweeters pushed in than I can care to, <laughs> can care to tell you. <laughs> hey, what's that? <laughs> um, and phono cartridges, <laughs> just tweak the heck out of it. Yeah, kids and, kids and stereo don't go well together. They love music, but stereo systems don't love them so much. Um, so my advice, yeah, uh, keep, keep your dust cap on. Keep your dust cap on um, and if you can, but I wouldn't get stressed about it or overly concerned. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, if, if it's a hassle, don't worry about it. They, they glue on pretty easily. They don't have to be exact, and they don't lend much to the sound itself. So I, I hope that answers your question. It was a good one, and thank you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.